when we first left here to do a trip to France to go and um, uh, work on a new gunboat, um, I got Anna to basically just put the, the webbing for the head of the sail in a approximate position, which, we, which I felt was going to be close, uh, in the intention that I would lash it to the what looks like a goldy, bronzy, browny car. Um, so it was before I built the silver thing. And what we've discovered now is my guess was putting the webbing too low for this arrangement. So that's had a knock-on effect where we went sailing yesterday down here with our Cunninghams. If you look at the Cunninghams and it's sewn in here, these Cunningham loops are sitting too high. So, I need to get Anna to move the head webbing. So, get the fun job of unpicking all the, all the webbing, taking the batten off, uh, and moving everything around. It's just a quick five minute job, you know. Okay, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Here's the webbing that we've moved up. You can see where it's not painted. Yes. And here is the walking foot. And here is the mechanic. <laughs> because we've been working on it all afternoon and it's only done two rows of stitching and it keeps breaking. And we are also tired and we want to go to bed. Finished putting the webbing on at four o'clock this morning. We've had a little bit of sleep and now we have to paint the naranja back on. Muy rapido. <clears throat> so hopefully it shouldn't take long to dry. I don't think it took long to dry last time. And then maybe we can hoist it this afternoon. Oh, a tiny bit of um, hand sewing to do, we've got to sew the overhead leech line back on. Um, so yeah, that's it. Cool. If I can see it. Oh no, if that's it. And uh, is it happy days with all your new front beam? So far, so good. Yeah? Yeah. Yay! So it's, um, because it's quite rough, so this is a good test, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty um. unpleasant. Heavy weather testing. Oh, um, rough. Yeah. It's too windy, it's just... Just a lot of surf. Messy ocean. Mm. You good? Pilot's on. Pretty good. Yeah. Maybe. Autopilot's handling it okay. Is Dad testing the theme? Yeah, he's making sure it doesn't go completely wobbly. So we're testing the beam or testing the mainsail? Uh, testing the beam just now. It's perfect conditions to test the beam.
just stopped. Yeah. Is it the same one again or is it the port side now? Diesel bug means the fuel filters are clogged, so there's no fuel getting to the engine. Oh, I can hear the autopilot though. I can hear an engine sauteed. Bad. Hey, it doesn't yeah. feel too bad. But it's just a bit messy. Yeah, it's a bit rough out here. Oh no, it's off again. Moonroof's the best, eh? Hey? Yeah, so Okay. in terms of it, the boat feels more balanced. Yeah. Yeah, so, you're just going down the building. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy here now. Um, life is good. Uh, but you think maybe, what were you saying about putting diamonds on? for the rudders, Shane, so we don't hobby horse so much. What happened to them? That was going to be your nighttime project. Yeah. Ah, uh, nighttime project. The nighttime project's been redoing in the main stars. That was one night. <laughs> and every other. And I helped thing. you with it anyway. Uh, I have to say, actually, I had a Woohoo! A little bit of slop. 
wind forward like 30 degrees, which is quite nice. It's a good indication the boat's fairly fast. Look what we're doing. Uh, nine knots of boat speed. <laughs> Somewhat worried. Seven knots. Um, ten knots true, not quite right. There's a little bit more because I haven't got the mast rotation thingy, it's not on, but you can see the difference between the true wind, which is the blue one, and the red one, which is the apparent wind. Because our boat's moving quite quickly through the water, we're actually dragging our apparent wind quite forward. So while the wind is actually aft of 90 degrees, I've actually had to set the sails to what, <laughs> what some boats consider upwind at 60 degrees. Uh, anyway. Bleh, man, it's bleh. It's bleh, lady bleh. Uh, I've, I've got my little thing going on and I've been sailing the boat, so I feel a bit better now. Yeah. I'm going to go to the front of the fence. <laughs> yes. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't speak. Bleh, bleh, bleh. bleh, bleh. Too lazy to put the fenders away. Ooh, the trampoline. Have a look. Here's my force they sag. Ah, oh, saggy as Nana's knickers, that force day. Anyway. <laughs> Slippery as a The non skid on the beam. Yeah, uh, might not be a silly idea. Good yeah. job. Yeah, they were coming out of the water a lot when we were going up wind before, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> right. Not too much rotation. Woo. Yeah, boards down. Oh, that's why we're going slow. We've got the boards going down, downwind. Oh. Nice clean pair of heels.
comfortable lights. So at this rate we'll sort of do yeah, comfortable 200 plus mile days when we're doing passages. Into our beat car, uh, 10 hours at this speed. So day trip, like daylight hour trip. But, but we were doing that anyway, so it was like it's a long day, but Yeah, but we had to be yeah. yeah, we were averaging eight miles, but it was perfect. Yeah, that was perfect full blast reaching and we had everything up and we were pushing the boat a little bit last time. Whereas now well with with yes with the day before yesterday's if we were in those same conditions, it would be a six hour trip. <laughs> yeah, I handle a little bit more. Oh, well, no, I would say the average is 10. Yeah. So, that's cool. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about going. Yeah.